USA Championship Wrestling. Hello, everyone. I'm Gordon Soley, and with me, of course, is Ron Fuller. Before we get underway with the program, I want to say that I had an opportunity to check with engineering, and that videotape that we saw on the last program uh, between the Mongolian Stomper and uh, the Bullet, no question about it, that tape had been altered. That tape had been messed with the front end has been uh, fouled up, so I guess we'll never see it on videotape, per se. Well, I, I know the bullet's very upset by it, and uh, Ron Wright was out here. I was wondering why he was so hesitant to want to see the video to begin with, and I got a good feeling that's what happened to the video right there. I, I certainly have to agree with you on that score. Now, during this hour, we're going to see the Mongolian stopper in action. Also, Terry Bam Bam Gordy. We've got an interesting personality profile upcoming with uh, the Riches. That's uh, Tom... Uh, Dave and Johnny Crash Rich, and uh, we'll be seeing the rock and roll RPMs and, of course, the world's strongest man, Doug Furness. But right now, let's go to Phil Rennie for our opening match. Ladies and gentlemen, our first match on today's program will be a one-fall match with a 10-minute time limit. First of all, introducing in the ring at this time, weighing 205 pounds, star fighter number one. <laughs> And his opponent, managed by Ryan Wright, the USA heavyweight champion, weighing 265 pounds from Mongolia. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the Mongolian stopper. USA heavyweight champion, the Mongolian stopper, brought to uh, ringside now by Ron Wright. That's a beautiful belt. I'll have to say that for the belt. I'm not so sure about the man wearing it. Yeah, I'd have to go along with you on that. All right. Ron right now uh, moving up uh, onto the ring apron along with the USA heavyweight champion. How long he'll hold that title, of course. The bullet's after him. And uh, the bullet definitely wants revenge after what happened to him. Well, you can see Rice is proud as a young dad. a lot of championships and that particular belt we're looking at will be at stake on television against a major competitor in the month of May. All right, Matt Mayhem in May. And we've got some mayhem going on right now as this young starfighter, uh, well, he's, uh, I don't believe he knows where he is already, Gordon. He's already lost his composure completely. He took enough percussions to the head that uh, comments, but he's saying that the guy was trying to run out of the building and he had to help him back into the Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, I'll tell you, you know, you've got to admire a young fellow like this for even having the courage to step into the ring. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people figured when he walked in there that he didn't have a chance. Frankly, he didn't, but it has to be a, a heck of a fighting heart to get into the ring and go up against somebody like the Stomper. Well, the Stomper's got a worldwide reputation and uh, certainly he's a uh, being the USA heavyweight champion, he's got his got his reputation built, and as you can see here on replay, he's picking this man up. And this is a very powerful slam here. And when he goes back, puts this stomp on him. Uh, he just puts the old foot there. He really doesn't even have to stomp him at that point. And he's got himself an easy victory. He did indeed. Well, I'll 
tell you what, we've got another situation that uh, came up not too terribly long ago uh, concerning the very, very popular superstar Bill Dundee. I want to bring him out here for just a moment and chat with him about it because uh, Dundee, I think, has a legitimate complaint regarding uh, what happened. Certainly does. Hey, Bill, how you doing? How you doing? Good to see you, Bill. Good to see you, Bill. Now, I know you got something that you want to complain about, and you got good reason. Well, it's not opinion. really a complaint, Ron. I don't mind getting beat. Anybody can get beaten any given night, and I don't mind it. But in the last time I had a tournament in Knoxville, Tennis, Tennessee, I never got beat. We flipped the coin. Hector Guerrero lost to that man. I went back. Oh, that didn't suit good with a little Mexican, so he jumped me from ahead and run my head into the post. And I think we have a little tape of it, right? So yeah. somebody once said that the picture tells a thousand words, so if you just punch the button, we'll see what happened right here, how bad Hector is. Now, this is where they... It's over. 15-minute time limit. He said, you call it, I call it. Heads, I won, right? So I was supposed to come back that night and wrestle. Now, look at this. Now, I don't think all Mexicans is like this, but this one is Hector is. So I'm not selling him short. He's a great athlete, and he can wrestle. He comes from a wrestling family. His father and his brothers are all great athletes, but there's nothing great about that, brother. Anybody can backfight anybody. Now, this is when he run my head into the steel post and busted it open. I wasn't feeling too good. So when the promoter came to me after, he said, Bill, I don't think you ought to go back into the tournament. I didn't go back. So I feel like he cheated me out of the belt. I'm not saying I would have won it, but who knows? You'd have had the opportunity, certainly, that's right. right? And that's all that matters is the opportunity. Now, if he thinks he's big and bad, brother, you ain't. Anybody can do this. Well, Hector Guerrero, whether it's a single match, whether it's in a stampede coming up, I really don't care. But I'm going to beat your brains out, brother, and we'll see how much you like it. <laughs> I think time about is fair play, and uh, you certainly didn't get an opportunity here, Bill. He jumped That's you right. from Bill behind. He thinks he's, I don't know what he's doing here. He's got them bandoliers, but this time, brother, the lights was out. I just know he was pounding on me with something. Now, see how tough he is? Anybody can do this. You know, I mean, that, that ain't no big, brave man right there. But I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to have my day, brother. Every doggy has his day, and the superstar's going to have his. Now, Hector, I'm just going to tell you something, son. I don't care where it is. If it's in a stampede, I'm taking you out, brother. If it's in a single match that the promotion thinks I should get, I'm taking you out, brother. Because on one and one, I don't mind getting beat, Ron. I've been beat before, and I'm sure I'll get beat again. If it's just a better man that pins my shoulders, one, two, three, that's fine. That's the name of the game. But Hector Guerrero, what you did, brother, I'm going to do to you. So don't turn your back, Hector. And when you're in the stampede, be looking for the little Aussie. That's about all I got to say. Thank you, okay. Thank you so very much, superstar Bill Dundee. He might be a little diminutive compared to a lot of wrestlers, but uh, no man ever stands so tall as you see him right now bending over to greet a child. Certainly, uh, I think that shows the well, kind of man he is. He's a great wrestler, and uh, he's a great credit to all the professional wrestling, as far as I'm concerned, and uh, most outstanding wrestler ever to come out of Australia. Certainly no question about it. We'll be back in just a moment. It's USA Championship Wrestling coming this Friday night to Corbin, Kentucky at the Lynn Camp High School Gym. Thursday, May the 5th, Somerset, Kentucky, the National Guard Armory. Friday, May the 6th, Harlan, Kentucky at the Kaywood High School Gym. And then Saturday night, April 30th, Hattiesburg, Kentucky's Memorial Gym. Starting time, 8 o'clock. It's the first annual Night of Champions. USA Heavyweight Championship, the Mongolian Stomper, the champion, defends against the bullet. The USA Tag Team Championship goes on the line as the USA Tag Champions, the Rock and Roll RPMs versus Johnny and Davey Rich. Tennessee Heavyweight Championship is the Tennessee Heavyweight Champion. Nature Boy Buddy Landell defends against the world's strongest man, Doug Furness. Hector Guerrero takes on Scott Armstrong. The Dog versus Cousin Junior. The Shogun takes on Bill Superstar Dundee. Tickets are on sale at Sports World and Hazard. That's Saturday night, April 30th. Hazard, Kentucky's Memorial Gym. The Night of Champions. Don't forget it. Get your tickets now at Sports World and Hazard, Kentucky. Saturday, April 30th. See you in Hazard. Corbin, Kentucky, and Hazard, Kentucky. Stand by because USA Championship Wrestling is coming your way with the likes of Cousin Junior and the Bullet. That's right. That's this Friday night in Corbin. Everybody's been talking about it for a while. Finally, we're there. Got some big matches scheduled there. Cousin Junior's going to be there. Hazard, Kentucky's coming up. The uh, first annual USA Night of Champions, and it looks like a parade of champions. A lot of talent coming up in that area with Ron Wright, Mr. Motormouth of the South, bringing his men, the Mongolian Stomper, and that dog with him. But when you got a man as big as Cousin Junior has done promise me when he gets to 
Mr. Hazard is going to wear his Sunday go to meet in overalls, right, Junior? You know that's right. I sure ain't pretty, but, dog, I've seen you, and I know you ain't pretty either. And we've been tooth and nail before, but this is going to be the one of the roughest dog fights you've ever been in your life, neighbor. And I know I'm going to have all my cousins and neighbors and relatives out there supporting me because I've got one of the biggest fan clubs in the country. Little cousin juniors everywhere are going to be cheering me on, dog. And when I get you in that there squared circle, neighbor, it's just you and me then. And we'll see which is the biggest dog at night. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Anytime you see the USA Championship Wrestling emblem displayed, you know that you're going to see the very optimum in professional wrestling competition. That's exactly right, Gordon, and the promoters tell me they're going to take USA Wrestling everywhere, get everybody ch a chance to see the best in professional wrestling. And it may prove hazardous to your health that night in hazard because that many titles at stake, a lot of people do things for the prestige of wearing a USA Championship belt. We'll see you there. Yeah! Let's take a moment now to talk about the USA Championship Wrestling School. In case you have aspirations of becoming a professional wrestler, here's the way it can happen. Well, Gordon, uh, if they can put the slide up there, you can write to this for information and applications at this point. And the training will be not only in wrestling, but it will be in weightlifting as well. The weightlifting training will take place in the morning. The wrestling training will take place right here in our studio television ring in the afternoons. There will be two trainers, one of them being Buddy Fuller, my father, who I can vouch for his qualifications, yeah, certainly, as a wrestling trainer. And the other one is a great wrestler, too. So what we're going to have, and not only that, there will be other wrestlers that will be making guest appearances, so to speak, will be coming in to teach special techniques that they do well to the, those pupils in the school. It's a limited number of people in the school, and as of this point, if you have written in to the School of Wrestling and you have received nothing back yet, please be patient. The applications and the information will be sent to you. There's such a great number of people and applicants at this point that uh, they're, we're having a hard time getting all of the information assembled and getting everything back. All right, now what about the age factor? Well, uh, it's pretty much uh, known that you have to be at least 18 years old. Uh, we, we would la ask that you weigh at least 160 pounds, and probably if you have real aspirations of being a professional wrestler, probably more in the 180 pound category. 80 pound category because you'll probably gain 30 or 40 pounds in the first year simply from the weight training and from wrestling itself. Precisely. It's a great opportunity and I might just point out, as Ron said earlier, of course, you're going to get some uh, tremendous instruction in bodybuilding itself and then, of course, every afternoon you'll be on that mat and you'll know exactly what it feels like to be a pro wrestler. So, write to this address and get all of the information you need about USA Championship Wrestling School. Our next match on USA Championship Wrestling will be a one-fall match, 15 minute time limit. From the state of Tennessee, weighing 300 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, Tim Reed. And his opponent from Chattanooga, Tennessee, weighing 300 pounds, Bam Bam, Terry Gordy. Terry Bam Bam Gordy getting set to move out against uh, Tim Reed. And Gordy loosening up on the ropes. And I'll tell you what, he is so big and so powerful that the uh, impact of him hitting those ring ropes, the ring was actually moving slightly. Yes, I believe it's off the, off the pads underneath it that was supporting it on the floor there, Gordon. He certainly did move the ring around. He's an impressive man, and he's a... Uh, He's an unusual character. You really don't know what to think about uh, Terry Gordy. You never know what he's going to do, uh, whether he cares whether the people like him or not. He's just, I, I really don't know how to, how to, how to uh, explain what Terry Gordy's all about. He's unpredictable. There's certainly no question about that. It's Gordy now. Uh, he's going up against a fellow who weighs 300 pounds. Gordy has to weigh about 278, I guess, somewhere in that vicinity. And... Uh, You've got two giants in there right now, but he, he's a, uh, a very, very practical competitor. Goes out, gets a side headlock. Uh, doesn't appear to be in any hurry whatsoever. Totally self-confident. And there, a 
all of a sudden he explodes. And that's, yeah, that's what I said, that unpredictability. You never know where Terry Cordy is coming from, how he's going to wrestle or what he's going to do in any particular match. So we got the opportunity here, Gordon. Uh, I want to mention there's wrestling in Murphy, North Carolina, Monday night, and Johnson City, Tennessee, Tuesday, and Wartburg, Tennessee on Thursday, Corbin, Kentucky on Friday, and tonight in Morristown, Tennessee, and I'm going to be in Morristown tonight at 7 30 signing autographs and meeting all the fans up there. And Morristown's been a long time since I've seen him, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, I thank you, Wendy. It's a lovely community, and uh, we certainly invite all of you to get out and uh, meet uh, Ron personally tonight and get those autographs. I think that's an excellent idea. And one of these days, I hope to join you in one of those of my schedule. Well, that'd be great. I know the fans would love that. Uh, what you just saw was a suplex there, and uh, Terry Gordy suplexed that 300-pound man like he weighed about 150 pounds. He had no problem whatsoever dealing with that much weight. There was no strain on him. Yeah, he's an extremely powerful man. And once again, he's back into that uh, solid headlock. Comes up. Aha! Gordy staggered that time by Reed, and Reed gets the side. Look at that. Forward leg trip by Gordy. Nice move, right, Gordon? You're there again. That Predictability. A minute ago, out of the headlock, he turned around, hit the man upside the head. Now the man headlocks him, and he forward leg trips him. Uh, it's hard to wrestle a man that's that diverse and careful. That is certainly the truth, and it is uh, Gordy keeping a ride going now on Reed. So now Gordy has got his man convinced that they're back to the basics of wrestling. Now, uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all, keeping a good waist cinch on him now. Reed's got some problems. Yes, he does. And, uh, and if I was in Reed's position here, my mind would be racing as to what he's likely to do with my body if he's behind me. Eric, oh, my gosh. And what he did with his body, Gordon, was, was not what you'd want to have done to you. Amen. A belly-to-back play. And uh, only a two-count, however. Reed's Ready. a tough man to kick out of that, Gordon. You better believe it. This guy's got a good second effort. All right, back to that side headlock again. So Terry Gordy strictly staying with the basics on that, but a beautiful move in that belly to uh, back to belly to play a moment ago. So uh, Reed has had some uh, wind taken out of his sails. I'd like to say hello to my friends at Delmar Haynes if I got a minute, and also at the Coca-Cola Roddy Bottling Company and uh, Quality Inn. That's where you stay each week, right, Gordon? Absolutely, a delightful place. And it's Gordy. Uh oh. Sent Reed through the ropes. It was and a nice move by Reed just a second ago there. He did pick Gordy up and gave him a back suit play there. And he's going to try to hang in there. And, and he better do whatever he's going to do quickly with Gordy, but he may not get another opportunity. Well, I'll tell you what, Gordy is uh, not toying with his man at all. But, uh, oh, man, a single-handed pickup on that slam. 300 pounds brought him up. Hey, this Tim Reed is a heck of a man. He is. He's hanging in there. He's really uh, doing well for himself. He's making a, making a good showing of himself here today, and he'll probably get another opportunity, I'd say, at somebody else. Oh, gosh, what a, what a clothesline, Gordon. Yeah, that short lariat got to tuck that leg coming in. Got him in a short lariat. Now it looks to me, well, there's a variation, if you will, of the old Indian death line. between those legs and that has really got to increase the pressure oh it certainly does that's, that's a winning hold and anybody uses that particular hold they're certainly going to get themselves a win and terry gordy got himself just that in that particular case let's take a look at that again ron because uh, that was really an interesting application of that particular uh, death lock yes it was and you can see him here go around and pick up both legs he's going to step over that old leg yes right with his opposite leg the most unusual way to step over when he puts both those legs together it is a formation of an indian death lock but by turning around as he does here when he turns his body over to where the man reed's stomach is to the mat it puts not only the pressure of a boston crab but it also the pressure on the legs as well and that's very painful hold indeed gordon no question about it and so quite a victory for uh, terry bam bam gordy and uh I notice that uh, Mr. Gordy uh, is walking away right now. We'll be back in a moment.
It's USA Championship Wrestling coming this Friday night to Corbin, Kentucky at the Lynn Camp High School Gym. Thursday, May the 5th, Somerset, Kentucky, the National Guard Armory. Friday, May the 6th, Harlan, Kentucky at the Kaywood High School Gym. And then Saturday night, April 30th, Hattiesburg, Kentucky's Memorial Gym, starting time 8 o'clock. It's the first annual Night of Champions. USA Heavyweight Championship, the Mongolian Stomper, the champion, defends against the bullet. The USA Tag Team Championship goes on the line as the USA Tag Champions, the Rock and Roll RPMs versus Johnny and Davey Rich. Tennessee Heavyweight Championship is the Tennessee Heavyweight Champion. Nature Boy Buddy Landell defends against the world's strongest man, Doug Furness. Hector Guerrero takes on Scott Armstrong. The Dog versus Cousin Junior. The Shogun takes on Bill Superstar Dundee. Tickets are on sale at Sports World and Hazard. That's Saturday night, April 30th. Hazard, Kentucky's Memorial Gym. The Night of Champions. Don't forget it. Get your tickets now at Sports World and Hazard, Kentucky. Saturday, April 30th. See you in Hazard. No matter where Terry Bam Bam Gordy goes, he makes an impression, he cuts a path, and you certainly have already made an impression here. Well, that's right. You know, Gordon, it's like this. There's a few more people talking about old Bam Bam now, you know. They're all asking, Bam Bam, are you going to be, are you going to be one of them good guys? Are you going to be one of them bad guys? Well, let me tell you something. I'll be what I'll be. Now, it's like this. A lot of you people out there, you might not like the way I talk. You might not like the way I walk to the ring. And some of you, you might want to cuss me when I'm walking to the ring. Some of you might even want to spit on me when I'm walking to the ring. And then some of you, very few of you, you might even want to take the chance and hit me while I'm walking to the ring. Will you go right ahead? Just be ready to suffer the consequences. Hey, wait a minute, what? Let me interrupt you a minute. I'd just like to come out here. This man I admire. This is my kind of man. I've seen this man on TV all over the world. I'd just like to tell you how much I think of you, what a fine raster you are. And I think me and you might ought to get together and maybe have a little talk about this big $32,000 stampede that's coming up. Because with a man like you, I think me and my boys in my stable might be able to talk money to you and get a little help from you there, Mr. Bam Bam. Would you have any comment on that? Let me tell you something, Mr. Wright. When it comes down to the stampede, just hopefully it won't be me and your men. Now, I'll put it to you like this. I think you're a Class A guy, too. Well, that's good. And I like you. That, that sounds good. That sounds good. When this thing's over, we might ought to get together and sit down and do a little serious talking about this stampede business. We might work something out. About yeah, well, that's uh, interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm underwhelmed, Mr. Wright. We'll be back. And we're going to have them out here momentarily at the desk and talk to them about, uh, well, a lot of things that are on our minds. I'd like to once again point up the black hat. This is where uh, the, the numbers will be drawn for the Cyclone Stampede. <laughs> and you will appear in the ring in the order that your number appears. Uh, one new man entering the ring each minute. And it ends up as uh, a tremendously uh, interesting battle royal, over $200,000 in prize money will be going out in the Cyclone Stampedes uh, throughout the uh, states in this area. Now, Johnny Crash Rich and Davey Rich have joined me. Gentlemen. Gordon, you know yourself how exciting these Stampede matches, because you've seen them before, I believe. Amen. And I I'd just like to explain to you people, you know, that, that the start of the night, when we get this thing started, we're going to start by one man coming from one dressing room and one coming from another to come down to flip a coin to see who comes out first. And the winner, then he comes out, that whole team comes out and picks a number out of the hat. He'll pick one, and then the other team comes out and gets all their numbers. Then they start. Two people in the ring, and every minute after that, then number three comes, then number four comes, and so on, until that ring fills completely up with men. And then that's when it all starts going down. That's right. That's when it comes down. One minute apart as they enter the ring. So I know, of course, that uh, 
And Mr. Soul, if it's okay with you, can we do a little something different? You know, usually we show a video at this time. And last week, me and Johnny and Scott Armstrong were sitting around the budget end over there, and we saw the Rock and Roll RPM little video. Is there any way we could roll that video? You do that for Just for a little different, just roll that video. Well, let, let me check with our Spruce. Can we do that? The RPM okay. Video. The, the, the RPM? The joke video. The joke video. Right? Oh, all right. Now, well, let's take a look at it. Oh, uh, here we go right here. If you look at this, I don't know if y'all realize this, but they are standing outside of Elvis Presley's house, probably the greatest entertainer ever in the world. And here it is, two bleach blind goose, one of them only have a tooth in his head, trying to walk up, Grayson, trying to walk up Elvis's house. Look, here they are going down the streets from Memphis. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. That's right there. That's downtown Memphis. There's Elvis right there. In a minute, they'll be coming right to his house. Look at him walking around. I must admit that these fellas uh, do have a... Uh... Hey, wait a minute. Let's, 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 Look at these pumps. Uh-oh, wait. What do we got going hey, this here? This is our time, boy. What are you out here doing running your mouth about something you know nothing about? Hey. And we beat your brains all over everywhere, boy. Hey, buddy, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I know about Graceland. I know two idiots like you would never walk hey. up that street. I don't, I don't care. care. We'll walk up that street if we want to. We've walked that street many yeah. times. You saw a lady security guard chase y'all out with a billy club and y'all ran like Don't a couple... Don't stand out here and insult <laughs> us like, an idiot, like a couple of idiots. Hey, boy, next week on this show, there's going to be a stampede match. We've already thrown our hat in the ring. If you two idiots have got any guts at all, you get in the ring with us, too, huh? Hey, let me tell you something, boy. Anytime we can get a chance to get in that ring with you two punks, we'll do it. Stampede match. We'll do it. We'll come on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. We'll be back. We'll be back in just a moment. Let's cut away to a commercial break here. Let's cut away. If you a one ball match with a 15 minute time limit. Making their way to the ring in this tag team match from Australia, the Australian heavyweight champion, superstar Bill Dundee, team with Alan Riddle from Arkansas. Combined weight 470 pounds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Music City, USA, weighing combined weight 465 pounds, the RPM. Superstar Bill Dundee getting set along with uh, Alan Reynolds to take on the team of the Rock and Roll RPMs. Joining me here at the uh, desk right now uh, from Mexico, Hector Guerrero, and uh, the Tennessee heavyweight champion, uh, Buddy Landell. There's uh, beautiful Laura, our ring lady, picking up uh, those belts from the RPMs. Well, what can you say? You got the greatest tag team going on today, and that's got to be the Rock and Roll RPM. You talk about the only Rock and Roll. You better talk about guys that can move, guys that are good in the ring, and guys that can boogie at any, any tangle you put to them. You give it to the Rock and Roll RPM. You know, Gordon, I'm looking at Bill Dundee, and I'm looking at him things he likes to say. He comes out with these cute little things. The only thing cute he's got is his accent. But he's not an American. He's an Australian. And another thing, he's got to hang up about being little. He don't have to call me little because he's little. 
little hey the way i look at it he's lucky to be able to get in to a volkswagen usually made ladder well now mr guerrero uh the height of it aha Quite a competitor, and he uh, obviously uses his head a lot, oh, too, when he's wrestling. Oh, he just got lucky, Gordon, and you'd know it. The way I look at it, Bill Dundee's been lucky since the day he was born. Since the day he was born to ever get out of being able to get out of the bed without following and stumbling on the first step. There was one thing I'd like to say. All you people like to support him. Just remember one thing. He's a Aussie. He's an Australian. And like I said, I was talking a little bit before about what happened the other night. I was only a little bit of retaliation on a double team up of him and the referee. The way I look at it, they had that rigged. And I didn't get beat in fair and square. It got, I got beat by a technicality, which is a what? Is that an American way? Toss the coin? You don't do that in Mexico. Well, right now, Express. And as I said, of course, uh, Hector Guerrero is with me. Buddy Landell, the Tennessee heavyweight champion, who uh, is remarkably uh, quiet today. Alan Reynolds. Uh, I'm just studying the situation, Gordon. That's what I'm doing. I'm just studying the situation. I might have to wrestle some of these guys. And I'm just, I'm just rather quiet today. All right. Well, let's. Uh, good shoulder smash by Reynolds now. Like I say, he's getting lucky again, Gordon. Like always. Mr. Guerrero, you seem to have an answer for everything. I have an answer for all you American people. You know, I come to this land with one mission, and that's to regain our dignity of the dignity you stole when you stole our lands, which was done by, by an illiterate, illiterate person such as Sam Houston. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about all that land we used to have, and when all these Tennessee volunteers came and got whooped at the Alamo, they went and cried to Sam Houston. They came down to San Jacinto and caught us when we were sleeping. That's right, because they would have never beaten us when we were, if we were awake. They caught us during our siesta, and that, that we're lucky about that. It's okay. We had a no good Spaniard, Santana, who wasn't not even not even a Mexican, and he gave away our land because a real Mexican would have died and would have never given anything away. That's the kind of Mexican I am. I'd never give away anything. That's the type of people the RPMs are. That's the type of people Buddy Dandel is. That's the type of people all, all of Ron Wright's people are. And that's the way it is. Because we are men with dignity, men of pride. And that's what USA wrestling is all about. How about, let me just say one thing. You have the greatest thing going on today. And it's called USA Championship Wrestling. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Guerrero. to study the uh, history breaks on that sometime. Right now... Now, what do you call that? He's always doing that. Now, really, Gordon, now look. Look at this man. And the people back him up. Now, now that's an illegal move. 
Coming close. Now, that was the illegal. He should have got disqualified for that right there right uh, now. He caught him in the quadricep femoris muscles. Uh, and that was the that flat of the foot. I'm How did you know that that was a quadricep femoris muscle? It's obvious you could see in the area yeah, in the body right, in which he's right. Did you take biology in school? Uh, among a few things, uh, Mr. Guerrero, yes. Oh, I want to commend you. But I want to tell you, look at that drop kick. Look at that. RPM. 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 That's what you call the best. That's why they're champions. That's why they're at it where they're at. And then you take the two little pretty schools like Tommy. the far leg. He gets the pinfall. The Rock and Roll RPMs uh, score another victory. That's why they're the United States Wrestling Tag Team Champions. You saw it right there. They took advantage of the situation. They did it right and they did it to win. And that's why they're the best. The Rock and Roll RPMs. Don't you ever forget it. And they're in USA Championship Wrestling. The best thing going today. Thank you so very much, uh, Hector Guerrero. Let's take a look yeah, at that. Thank you, and... Gordon. You're the greatest, too. <laughs> there you see him now. Watch how he brings that lariat. Caught him in the side of the head, drove him to the canvas, and very quickly Mike Davis moves in, laterally over his man, hooks that far leg, and scores the pinfall in short order. It's USA Championship Wrestling coming this Friday night to Corbin, Kentucky at the Lynn Camp High School Gym. Thursday, May the 5th, Somerset, Kentucky, the National Guard Armory. Friday, May the 6th, Harlan, Kentucky at the Kaywood High School Gym. And then Saturday night, April 30th, Hattiesburg, Kentucky's Memorial Gym. Starting time, 8 o'clock. It's the first annual Night of Champions. USA Heavyweight Championship, the Mongolian Stomper, the champion, defends against the bullet. The USA Tag Team Championship goes on the line as the USA Tag Champions, the Rock and Roll RPMs versus Johnny and Davey Rich. Tennessee Heavyweight Championship is the Tennessee Heavyweight Champion. Nature Boy Buddy Landell defends against the world's strongest man, Doug Furness. Hector Guerrero takes on Scott Armstrong. The Dog versus Cousin Junior. The Shogun takes on Bill Superstar Dundee. Tickets are on sale at Sports World and Hazard. That's Saturday night, April 30th. Hazard, Kentucky's Memorial Gym. The Night of Champions. Don't forget it. Get your tickets now at Sports World and Hazard, Kentucky. Saturday, April 30th. See you in Hazard. Now, let me take a moment to talk to Mr. Ron Wright and uh, the Rock and Roll RPMs. Let me tell you something. The biggest night coming up right here in Knoxville, Tennessee, in the history of wrestling anywhere, the big $32,000 Cyclone Stampede match is going to be held. And let me tell you something. Going to be a lot of bloodshed down there. There's going to be a lot of men in that ring trying to get their hands on that $32,000. You can rest assured old Ron here has done got some big plans made on what we're going to do when we get that money and spend it. I'd like to talk to these boys back here. I'd like to get with you, Jerry, before this thing gets on. We need to get together and do a little serious talking, too, because we got a lot of money at stake. You know, Mr. Wright, that might not be a bad idea. You got that right, brother. Because the RPMs are out for one thing, and that's M-O-N-E-Y. And for you illiterate Tennesseans, that says money. Money's where it's at. And I'm guaranteeing you one thing. Me and Brother T.L. don't put up with no fool, and we don't party except in that ring right there. Business is business, and we are business. So you just get ready for the biggest night in wrestling history. The stampede is coming, and we're all going to be winners. Thank you very much, gentlemen. No matter whether you see the stampede, it's going to be a great night. TV time remaining. In the ring at this time, from Hendersonville, Tennessee, weighing 210 pounds, J.D. Wolf. And now, the strongest man in the world, from Knoxville, Tennessee, weighing 279 pounds, here comes Doug Furness.
crowd favorite, huh, Gordon? He is indeed a tremendous athlete. Uh, the young man has got uh, his head solidly set. Great athlete. And uh, somebody somebody just got a T-shirt out there. He certainly did. And there was a big crowd fighting for it back there, too, Gordon. Uh, he's a great athlete, like you said, Doug Furness, and a great young man, too. A lot of character. 275 pounds, has established 19 world records. And uh, Mr. Wolf just suddenly found out that... Uh, Don't to run into Doug Furness. <laughs> I think he thinks he just hit a brick wall. Oh, gosh. I think he's made a second mistake early in the match. Yep. I think he got Doug's attention, though. And Doug is explaining to him you're not supposed to do that. Furness. Oh, gosh. He almost threw him out of the ring, Gordon. Right there. That looked like a shot put. Yeah. He just... Uh, Tremendous power and be able to have the agility and the power. Uh, Doug Furnish has certainly the potential to be a world champion, in my opinion. Well, he not only uh, has Wolf frustrated, but uh, Wolf must be feeling uh, literally helpless against this man. Well, I think uh, he's running kind of like Buddy Landell's running from Doug Furnish. He's, he's taking that scoot and he's looking for a place to hide, and that's what Landell is going to be doing if he gets too close to Furnish at this point. Uh oh. Uh -oh went for the eyes that time and now Wolf he took that cheap shot and got by with it and now laying the boots into uh, uh -oh, no. bad move on his part there there he was now that's a slam I think that's more of the type of slam he wished he was able to give Furnace some J.D. Wolf looked like a snake sliding out of the ring yeah. there Gordon <laughs> if I were him, I would not be getting back into that ring. I think I'd uh, head for the showers. Yeah. Well, sometimes uh, if you're going to be a wrestler, you've got to face whoever you're booked to face. And uh, J.D. Wolf, give him credit. He is in there facing the world's strongest man. Got him in a side headlock now and uh, a little karate thrust into the throat of uh, Doug Furness. And Furness now... Coming with another shortcut, and Wolf better do all he can if he's going to, if he's going to, oh, and he goes for the legs and the lower body, and that's certainly a mistake for the man that's trying to Doug Furness to hold back. Well, he did get him this time by the ankles, and that took him down, and so, uh, aha! Furness caught him very nicely. Irish whip off and caught him with the, uh, that lariat coming off, and wait a minute. Let's see what Furness is going to do. Presses him oh, above his head. What a press, Gordon. A double press. What power. And did it so easily. He certainly did, and I think now he's going to give him his patented squash, and I call it that because he really does squash a man from up here. Oh. That doesn't cave your ribs in. Nothing will. I'll guarantee you that. And uh, let's take another look at that in instant replay if we can. Tremendous power, tremendous agility. As you can see, he's perched on that top rope, and here comes the bird, and the bird weighs 300 pounds, and when that happens, there's going to be a squashed body underneath, and it happens to be J.D. Wolf today. It's good night. It's USA Championship Wrestling coming this Friday night to Corbin, Kentucky at the Lynn Camp High School Gym. Thursday, May the 5th, Somerset, Kentucky, the National Guard Armory. Friday, May the 6th, Harlan, Kentucky at the Kaywood High School Gym. And then Saturday night, April 30th, Hattiesburg, Kentucky's Memorial Gym, starting time 8 o'clock. It's the first annual Night of Champions. USA Heavyweight Championship, the Mongolian Stomper, the champion, defends against the bullet. The USA Tag Team Championship goes on the line as the USA Tag Champions, the Rock and Roll RPMs versus John. Johnny and Davey Rich. Tennessee Heavyweight Championship is the Tennessee Heavyweight Champion. Nature Boy Buddy Landell defends against the world's strongest man, Doug Furness. Hector Guerrero takes on Scott Armstrong. The Dog versus Cousin Junior. The Shogun takes on Bill Superstar Dundee. Tickets are on sale at Sports World and Hazard. That's Saturday night, April 30th. Hazard, Kentucky's Memorial Gym. The Night of Champions. Don't forget it. Get your tickets now at Sports World and Hazard, Kentucky. Saturday, April 30th. See you in Hazard. Thank you.
Well, a lot of great matches upcoming in Hazard, Kentucky, and one man who's going to be right in the middle of all of it is with me right now, the uh, champion, Mr. Buddy Landell. Yeah, but you know, first Friday night, Corbin, I don't know what in the world you all did to deserve USA Championship Wrestling coming to your town, because God knows you ain't got no other claim to fame. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got a football team or nothing, but Hazard the 30th, uh, USA Championship Wrestling, the, the RPMs, Hector Guerrero, and the Tennessee Heavyweight Champions coming there, and it is a title match. Doug Furness, if you think you're man enough, if you see something across that ring you want, come and get it big time. April 30th, as a Kentucky party, boys. Stumble, fumble, and fall. That's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to stumble, you're going to fumble, and you're going to fall because we're going to take two of you, and Guerrero, you're going to get old Twinkle Toes, right? Yes. Twinkle Toes, has it? Kentucky. Doesn't that sound kind of familiar? Oh, Lord, I'm coming to Hazard, Kentucky. What can I say? All I got to say is, all you redneck and Joe's pinnacle droppers, and you jump, whatever you jump, come on down, because Twinkle Toes will be my man. And one thing I want to say to all of you, make sure you say my name right, Guerrero. And when you say burrito, say it right, burrito. And all you come down, because USA Championship Wrestling is the best. Is that right or not, Gordon? We're Certainly no question about that. They're shaking them dirt farmers down when they come through that door. We'll see you. That's it. Championship Wrestling, we've talked about uh, Matt Mayhem in May. Well, I'll tell you what, we have something very, very special coming up, and uh, you may be the one to have your dream match on the air right here on this program. All you have to do is write the television station that you're watching us from, and just write to Dream Match. That's Dream Match. And tell us what match you'd like to see here on USA Championship Wrestling. And who knows, you might be the lucky winner and have your dream match here on USA Championship Wrestling during the month of May. So write the station that you're viewing right now. And uh, Ron, I know, of course, that uh, there's been a tremendous response to the wrestling school. Well, it certainly has, Gordon. And uh, in order that everybody gets an opportunity, I think this is the last time that they're going to make an announcement on TV and accept more letters. There's been such a tremendous response to it. But it, for anyone that does want to take this last opportunity to find out more about the wrestling school, that are interested in becoming professional wrestlers and learning not in a not in a way in which they can't progress as professional wrestlers, but really learn from some of the best trainers and get the best training in the world. I think if they put that address up on the screen that they can write to, this will probably, like I said, be the last opportunity for school one. And if the school does well, then there'll probably be maybe second and third school for those people that aren't able to get into this first time. Okay, fair enough. Just write to USA School of Wrestling. P.O. Box 51408, Knoxville, Tennessee. The zip on that is 37950. Now, next week, here on USA Championship Wrestling, we're going to be seeing the superstar Bill Dundee, uh, the uh, Mexican sensation Hector Guerrero, and there will be a special seven-man Cyclone uh, Stampede match. Well, that's exactly right. And uh, in this Cyclone Stampede, we had a problem here uh, earlier in this program. The RPMs didn't like something that the Riches had said, and they didn't like the fact they were using their video. And they came out and challenged the Riches. Well, there's going to be a seven-man stampede. The Shogun, Ron Sexton, the RPM, Johnny and Davey Rich. And the seventh man is the party boy, too, Scott Armstrong. So... We're going to have a cyclone stampede that the RPMs may live to regret. Amen Thank to you. that. And I'll tell you what, the winner of that will pick up this check from USA Championship Wrestling for $1,000. That will be presented to the winner next week on our seven-man cyclone stampede. So be a, by all means, do tune in. I think you're going to find it most exciting. Well, that pretty well wraps it up for today. Well, it has been a great program, Gordon, and uh, we got a chance to see Bam Bam Gordy. Uh, we've been seeing uh, in the last few weeks Austin Idol. Some of the greatest competitors in the world are going to be here on USA in the coming weeks. In the month of May, a lot of championship matches in the dream match. It's going to be exciting. It is indeed. On behalf of Ron Fuller, then, this would be Gordon Soley saying so long for USA Championship Wrestling.
Hello, everyone. This is Dan Dixon. Join me each weekend for news that affects Kentucky's mountain region. Right here on your mountain television, WYMT 57 Mountain News.